Alf, we're back. I think we're late again. <sighs> What's going on, sports card hobby family? I'm gonna pretend like I'm rested, but I am not. I am struggling so hard today. Got in at about midnight last night from Mexico, playing catch up, didn't get a whole lot of sleep, but glad to be back in my bed after a week away. How's everybody doing? How are we doing? I'm peeling, my forehead's peeling. Got some gem rate data to talk about today. The top 50 most graded athletes ever. And there's some huge surprises on this list to me. It's it's really wild, frankly, just to look at this. So thanks to Gemrate for providing that. And then we've got a earth-shattering, record-breaking Otani 50-50 price tag that we'll talk about a little bit later. Huge thanks to today's video sponsor, ComC.com. 35-plus million cards in the database. Guys, football, baseball, basketball, all the non-sports, hidden gems in there on the site. Easiest place to buy and sell cards on planet Earth. Check out my link down below to get started with ComC today. Also, if you've never graded with PSA, I've got $25 off for you off of your first submission. SCD25 code. Check it out again in the links down below in the video description, as well as in the pinned comments. It's all sorts of different hobby company discounts. So make sure to check that out immediately. All right, let's take a look at this list. Top 50 most graded athletes of all time. Number one, not really much of a shock. Number two, a little bit of a shock to me, though. For me, to me. I can't see. I can't breathe. Two plus million cards for Michael Jordan, the most collectible athlete, I think, in the entire hobby. Say what you will about all the other athletes out there, but Jordan just seems to transcend. And it really puts kind of a focus when you look at this list, the focus around basketball cards. And I'm not even just in the U.S. or in North America, but just globally. I think it really speaks to that, especially when we get down. If we look at three and four for basketball, LeBron and Kobe, you got Jordan 1, LeBron 3, Kobe 4. I know for a fact that there are just tons of these collectors that are in Asia. And it just shows you, especially over the last five years, the massive demand for Jordan, LeBron, Kobe. It's really unbelievable. Ken Griffey Jr. at number two. I don't know why. This really kind of surprises me, but... I think that really what this boils down to, having a million plus cards for Ken Griffey Jr., is the Junk Wax era, the popularity of his 89 Upper Deck card and all of the, 80, the 89 Fleer, all the different rookie cards or in his rookie season or whatever, not getting into a, God, not getting into a rookie card debate, but all of the cards that this guy has going back to 89, 90, 91, those early 90s. Yeah, you can get into, of course, my buddy uh, DPZ. He's a huge rare insert collector for Griffey, but that's not what is making a million cards up. I mean, a million cards is going to be, you know, all of the, the junk wax stuff. It's that late 80s, 90s stuff for Ken Griffey Jr. that's been graded over time. And the most graded card by PSA ever is the 89 Upper Deck card. So that probably makes up a pretty sizable chunk of the million. When we get into numbers five, six, seven, it's Shohei, Jeter, Mickey Mantle. So that really makes up just incredibly popular players, past and present. Shohei Otani is in the World Series against the Yankees. Could the hobby have written it up any better than that? You got Shohei Otani in his first World Series, playing out of his mind. The base, the 50-50 ball just sold at Ken Golden's auction house. I mean, everything for baseball, I feel like, is just kind of humming. I've said it before, I'm really happy for baseball card collectors because, and, and whether you're a vintage baseball card collector or modern or both or whatever, because this is kind of what you would want to see, you know, in a World Series. It pits against each other a couple of the great franchises, the Dodgers and, of course, the Yankees. you got the Judge and you've got Shohei Otani. It's just, it's going to be cool. I don't watch baseball and I'll be watching this World Series. So Shohei Jeter Mantle, obviously popular hobby figure. Shohei only been around since 2018, obviously, and just playing out of his mind. Number eight is Tom Brady with about half a million cards, and he is tops for football athletes. He's it at number eight. He's the first one there, and de deservedly so. He is the GOAT, although I keep on watching Mahomes and these Chiefs. Now, Mahomes is playing like absolute dog crap, frankly. He's just not even playing very good. But the Chiefs' defense is so solid, just a great overall team. They're undefeated. I mean, he might win a Super Bowl. I think he's got six touchdowns and eight picks. Patrick Mahomes is not doing anything special at all. Kind of in the clutch moments, he's making a pass here, he's making a pass there. But 
The Patrick Mahomes, the electrifying Mahomes that we saw the first, what, five years of his career, really over the last season and a half, has given way to just a really dominant Chiefs defense overall, just a good team. But you look at Travis Kelsey and Patrick Mahomes, really the big names, the guys that are in all the commercials. Hell, every other damn commercial is these guys. And Taylor Swift goes concert, and who cares? And these guys haven't done jack this year, really. It's it's really interesting. It's it's almost like we're in kind of like a twilight zone world when it comes to the football season. But anyway, we can talk about that in another video. Tom Brady about half a million cards. And speaking of Mahomes, he's sitting at 18 at 361,000 and, of course, climbing. Now, Brady's going to have more cards as well, so that his numbers will rise, but nowhere near the same pace as Patrick Mahomes. Patrick Mahomes has got, you know, God willing, his career is another 10 plus years. He's got a lot more cards coming and a lot more cards are going to be graded. So it, it seems pretty obvious that Mahomes is going to surpass Tom Brady on this list at some point. Wander Franco sits at number 47. A guy that has been banished from baseball is at number 47 out of 50. Again, speaking to just how many cards have been graded over the last few years. When you look at this list, you'll laugh. You'll see a lot of prospects. You've got Justin Herbert and Joe Burrow are above. I think they're above Willie Mace or they're right around Willie Mace. I mean... It's insanity. And really what this points to at this trajectory with grading, if it stays at, you know, a million five, a million seven cards a month, because that's really, if you look at all the big four grading companies, they're grading about a million five cards a month. At that trajectory, all these new players coming out, they're all going to have more cards. All these greats are going to fall off this top 50 list. That's what I think. I mean, sure, you'll have, you know, Tom Brady will still be hanging around on there. You know, you'll have the Mickey Mantles, of course. You'll have some guys that are hanging around on this top 50. But with the amount of cards being generated, Wembenyama, we've talked about Wembenyama. Wembenyama is already in the top, what, 15? And the guy's been around for 18 months. I mean, he doesn't even have that many card sets out. And he's ahead of a ton of guys. He's ahead of a ton of guys that have cards for decades, that have been made for decades. It just shows you the volume, the sheer volume of Victor Wembenyama cards that have been coming out. So very interesting list, list, very interesting list. I can't talk, guys. I'm just trying to recover. I'm trying to recover from a week away. Let me know your thoughts in the comments down below. Which names shock you and which names don't? You know, what seems like, yeah, that seems about right. And which ones are you just like, how? How? How does this happen? All right, and we'll end off on the Otani 50-50 ball shatters. Todd McFarlane, the creator of Spawn, one of my favorite comic book artists, one of the founders of Image Comics, Going back how many years now? 30 plus years. Bought a Mark McGuire ball for three million bucks. Well, $4.4 million at auction. The most that's ever been paid for any sports ball that has been signed. Not even just a baseball, as Ken Golden said, but any ball of sport. $4.4 million bucks for the Otani 50-50 ball. I talked about this in a video going back a couple days. It feels like the high-end money for certain items is unlimited these days. It's absolutely unbelievable. I don't know if people are just taking like big crypto gains or selling off stock and they're like, you know what? Let's get into some fun items. Uh, do we know who won this? Is that is the buyer um, anonymous or is the buyer out in the open? I would like to know that. But it just seems like, well, hell, we had a Game of Thrones, the Iron Throne replica. It's not even the one that was in the show sold for a million and a half. Like anything sells now for, for millions of dollars. It's like, you just yawn. It's like, oh, okay, a baseball sold for a million, multi-millions of dollars. Who cares? It's unreal. Friends, let me know your thoughts in the comments down below. Stay healthy, stay awesome, and I will talk to you again later.